Hi, problem solvers. This is your session nine lesson. Now this week, it is just one week with, okay? Because goal runs with the school term and this is the last week of school term. So after the schools in New Zealand close for two weeks, when you don't have any goal sessions, your next session is going to be term two, session one, which is going to be on the first Monday back, okay? Um, so, what do we have in this session? Now, because this is just one week, you're going to find that this does not have heaps and heaps and heaps of activities. Um, and I would also tell you that if you go through these activities and you have finished, look back on this term, look at all the different kinds of puzzles and mathematical things you have learned and extend yourself. Create puzzles like the ones that you have solved. Okay, share them with each other. Um, that is between Damien and um, William and Richard. And also um, share them with family members, um, solve them, um, just have some fun with it. Use the knowledge that you have gained, right? Especially you can definitely explore more about um, Fibonacci's numbers, Pascal's triangles, the golden ratio, and all those sorts of things. Okay, so what have we got for this week? All right. so. We, have, we are starting off with three warm-up puzzles. So there is activity one. Uh, we are looking at patterns. Yeah, uh, so Kaplan's pattern card because numbers do deal mostly with patterns. You have to create a blog post and then you um, create one blog post and you number up your answers one, two, and three and put all three answers in the same blog post, okay? So here's puzzle one about money. Puzzle two about Easter eggs, yay. And puzzle three is a card puzzle. Now, in puzzle three, it says the value of my card is a prime number. Prime number is a mathematical concept. You may know it, you may not know it. If you do not know what a prime number is, look at activity two. It is a look, listen, and learn activity. You don't have to create a blog post, but this one, this video actually shows you how to find prime numbers, okay? So you watch this one, you will get to know the prime numbers between one to 50 in this one. And then um, it challenges you and says, can you find the prime numbers from 51 to 100? You might be able to do that if you understand how to find them, all right? Okay, now activity three is, we are looking at the language of the discipline again. So, um, just give me one minute. Da, da, da. Okay, that's all right. So, um, activity three, I'm just going to publish that. Sorry, guys, just a little glitch. Um, William, your session is not now, darling. It's um, more than one hour away. Okay? Session is not now. Um, okay, so coming back. Now, activity three, we're looking at a new concept, a new idea, okay? It's a read, look, listen, think, and learn activity. You don't need to do a blog post. We're looking at something called ciphers. Now, ciphers are codes, and um, these are codes that follow a certain pattern. Okay, and I'm just looking at this. I might have misspelled it. It might be C-Y-P-H-E-R-S because C-Y-P-H-E-R-S might be another meaning. I'm going to go back and fix that, okay? But don't worry about it. Just remember the word cipher. So codes that follow a certain pattern. And here is a certain code created by another Greek mathematician way, way, way back. His name was Polybius. And this is Polybius's cipher, okay? This square here. Now, <clears throat> so let's learn about Polybius and his square. So if you click on the picture and make it big, it will show you a little bit of history about him and how to figure out the Polybius, which we're going to talk about in class. There are two words here, language of discipline, encipher and decipher. And I've given you the meaning of both the words here. And here is a video about using a Polybius square, which you can watch. Okay, activity three. 
create a blog post. This time you have to create a blog post. Write down three questions. So this is an unanswered questions activity. Three questions you have about the Polybius square. Okay. Then I've given an extra for experts, which are optional. So you've got patterns one in activity four, create a blog post to show your answers to the following puzzles that use the Polybius square. And here is a big version of the Polybius square. And here are the two questions. Use the table above, which is this table here, the Polybius square, to encipher the phrase orange juice. So you take the word orange juice, use that code and write it in code. That's what encipher means, to put it in code. And then use the same table and decipher or decode what letter these numbers stand for, what words they stand for, and what this is telling you. Okay, so it's a fun activity. You're like spies, you're encoding and decoding. Okay, activity five, create a blog post to make up three different enciphered messages of your own using the Polybius square above. So you make three different messages and look, I have made one. Can you decipher what I have made? And I look forward to all your answers. So guys, I'm gonna see you in class. Remember, this is your go-to video if you get stuck and confused. And of course, you can always contact me on Uspace, all right?